ABC7 business commentator Richard Stern joins us now. Richard, are there red numbers all over your computer screen today? Red numbers everywhere, but the truth is we've been up five days in a row. The Dow has set two records in a row, so little selling isn't the end of the world. Isn't the end of the world, but we saw more than a little bit of selling today. The Dow Jones Industrial Average was down by 356 points at the low of the day. No, we didn't close there, but nonetheless, we were down by more than 350 points. Part of the reason was an increase in interest rates. The 10-year U.S. Treasury trading above 3.2% for the first time since 2011. That and the fact that the FANG stocks, which have been leading the NASDAQ higher really all year long, didn't lead them higher today. You put that all together, and yes, indeed, as we just heard from Jess, red arrows everywhere. So let's take a look at them. The Dow Jones Industrial Average for the day down 201 points, three quarters of 1% at 26,627.48, then on volume of 819 million shares. The NASDAQ, the big loser, as I say, the FANG stacks, stocks selling right across the board, down 146 points, 1.8%, closing at 7,879.51, that on volume of 1,818,000,000 shares. And certainly if those two are sharply lower, so is the S&P down 8 tenths of 1%, 24 points at 2,901.81. Well, you may or may not be aware that Barnes & Noble has had lots of problems lately. Indeed, the stock has done very, very poorly. Frankly, their sales are really nothing short of really low. They're, for the last 23 quarters, they've had declining sales in 20 of those quarters. And lo and behold, the stock today is up by 21%. Why? Well, there are rumors, perhaps <laughs> real, that the company may be for sale. In fact, there are rumors, and I, I clarify these are rumors, that no less than Amazon might be interested in buying Barnes & Noble. And guess what? If you remember back, Amazon, what did they start as? Yes, indeed, a bookseller. So stranger things have happened, but in a down day, and I mean a really down day, shares of Barnes & Noble were up by more than 20%. So sometimes where there's smoke, there's fire. We'll find out, but certainly a big jump for a company that's done very yeah. poorly in the last couple of years. Very that's interesting. Fascinating. Yeah. Well, the workshop's coming up next week, right? Yes, coming up very quickly. Tuesday and Wednesday of next week, there you see it. Two very important topics, 2018 year-end planning. We're not talking only about tax planning. The gifting rules have changed substantially, so we'll bring you up to speed on that. And certainly on a day like today, 2019, can the bull run continue? We'll try and answer both of those things for you. Tuesday of next week in the morning, Tuesday the 9th at 10 a.m., and Wednesday, October the 10th at 1.30. Please RSVP 906-2838. Again, 906-2838. Jess, Great. nice to work with you. You too as well. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, my pleasure.